Good morning from Niagara Falls in Canada. This is the Canadian side here, and over there, the American side. Using this railway to go from the upper part to the lower part, close to the falls. It was 250 just to come down here. A few seconds. The Niagara Falls are right downtown Niagara Falls, Ontario. You arrive here, no entrance fee, and you're already seeing. You just pay something if you want to go on a private tour, for example, a boat tour. We're here in May. It's not cold. It's uh, actually comfortable right now, but it's funny because there's still snow here. These falls freeze during winter. We're here early in the morning, so the sun is against us. We've got to come back again in the afternoon when it's not a problem. already afternoon, the sun went to the opposite side, which makes it perfect for photography. There are two Niagara Falls, the Niagara Falls in Canada, here where we are, and Niagara Falls in the United States, over there. Because of the exchange rate, many people started coming here to Canada. In the past few decades, it was better to use American dollars in Canada because you got more bang for your buck. And another reason too that I'd say is the legal drinking age. Here, you can drink when you're 19, over there when you're 21. And guess what young adults prefer? On both sides you have different attractions too. Many people cross over. There's this bridge connecting both countries. It can take a lot of time though to cross because of the customs and sometimes there are huge traffic jams, but it's possible. <laughs> Here, it is free to see the falls, but on the other hand, you gotta pay for everything else, especially parking. Take a look at this one here, $18. This is expensive, you can find parking for five or $10. So, get ready, prepare your wallet. Although they have parking lots everywhere, paid parking lots, you don't really need a car, you can walk everywhere. You're also already paying for parking at the hotel. Even the most inexpensive ones don't offer free parking. We're now going up the Skyland Tower. Just got the tickets. Um, and a good tip is pay attention to these booklets that are distributed at hotels or in tourist areas because they normally bring discounts. We got $2 off. And we're going now. He hopes to have a good view of the sunset. restaurant it's a complete turn in an hour and when you go to the restaurant you don't need to pay to come up here just for the view 
you can see the whole area here. We can clearly see Buffalo, New York, and people say that when weather is good, you can even see the Toronto skyline. Today, it looks like it's going to rain over there, so. We came down here to the restroom. We don't really want to dine, but we want to wait for the lights to come up at the falls, and it's going to be one hour. Yesterday we walked a lot <laughs> from one side of the falls to the other and back. I have an app that tracks how many steps I gave in a day and it recorded 20,000. Today I expect the day to be a little bit lighter because we want to do some tours to get to know the falls up close. I just put on my raincoat because when you're this close to the falls, the wind brings all the water <laughs> back to you. And we're also going for a tour behind the falls. So I can only expect to get totally wet. down there because you get all the water and the water is freezing cold so it's funny because we're back here everybody's wearing their normal clothes sleeveless and I'm still like this as today is a day to get wet I'm going to do that boat tour that goes really close to the falls I'm here to buy the ticket ready for the adventure before you board the boat, they distribute rain covers, but it's of those really simple ones made of plastic. So there's this store here. They sell all kinds of rain cover. If you didn't bring your own, it's worth considering. You can see everybody Ladies being and gentlemen, red here welcome in the aboard boat. Hornblower, Niger Cruises. We're going really May I have your attention, falls. please? This is an important safety announcement. It's like it's really raining down here. So point. It's so much water. You can barely see the falls. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> we made it. If you stay in the upper part of the boat, you leave totally wet. The tour lasts for half an hour. You just go there and then come back. Bye bye. Bye. <laughs> We're driving around Niagara Falls and Niagara on the lake and there are just so many beautiful properties on this side, so many vineyards. And this region here is where they produce the famous Canadian ice wine. They leave the grapes until the first frost. Niagara Falls don't mean just beauty and waters. There was a war here too in 1812, which put Americans and Canadians on opposite side. Canadians fought together with the British, and the reasons were basically commercial, especially international commerce. 
Um, here, uh, there are several sites in Niagara Falls where you can see a little bit of history and a little bit of this war. This monument here is a homage to the general who led all the troops in this area, and he died in battle. This was the battle that uh, culminated with the victory of Canada and the British. Another place that attracts a lot of people here in Niagara Falls is this street called Clifton Hill. Here there are several attractions like haunted houses, um, there's a Ferris wheel, also museums like wax museums, and some bars and restaurants as well. Many stores and restaurants here accept American dollars. It's not the official exchange, but if that's all you got, it's worth it. The House of Frankenstein! Woo! Featuring live actors inside. Not for me. <laughs> So we just checked out at the hotel and when it was time to pay, a surprise. They charge several fees, you know, in addition to what you're paying per night and the parking fee. So they charge a recycling fee of $3.99 a day, also a marketing fee, but this marketing fee is optional, it's much less and it's optional. This is one thing that it's not nice from here. There are fees for everything and everywhere and you have to pay for everything. So. It is the downside. The positive side is that it's an extremely beautiful place. The falls are terrific. Even if you're not staying in town, let's say if you're in Toronto, it's worth coming here to spend just a day and go back in the end of the day. It's a short drive, it's just an hour and a half, and it's totally worth it. We're now going to Toronto, and I hope you come with us for our next video.